What's up guys, I'm trying something a little new here on Greenville Garage Media today. Um, I'm going to be showing you some work that I'm doing to my personal car. It's a 93 300ZX convertible um, NA. Um, I'm currently preparing the body for the wrap that's on my hood. 3M, um, it's a gloss flip deep space, so something kind of new. Let's get right into the body work. So as you can see here, I've already started sanding these two very small dents down to the bare metal. I'm um, getting ready for Bondo. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with this dent first, um, mainly because it was dry, already starting to dry when I put this on, and it's actually still, these are still just a tiny bit sticky, um, the other ones, but this one I think I'm about ready to go ahead and hit with the, uh, I've got, I think, 240 grit on here, which should do the job, it should get pretty smooth, and then I've got some finer stuff up there um, to just hit it and get it real fine and smooth. That way nothing shows up for the wrap. So now that we've got that semi sanded, um, it's pretty much just going to be feeling it out from here. Um, I'm not a professional, so you know I'm doing my best, but you're just gonna wanna feel for any raised spots, or on the opposite case, if it still dips in, you still feel the dent, then you're gonna need to hit it with another layer. In our case, I think we're good with this layer. Um, the edges need to be sanded a little finer, and it actually still feels raised a little bit, so one tip that a lot of people do is they use like a cloth or paper towel. Um, I'm just using a sock here and you can still feel that it's raised up a little. Don't feel for a texture difference because obviously the bond is going to have a, a little bit different texture um, and you're going to hit it with that finer sandpaper to really smooth it but um, yeah just feel over for any minor imperfections and keep working it down until you get it pretty smooth as far as level. So we actually did end up having to add another layer um, on all of them actually, just to get it real perfect. I didn't want any indention under that vinyl um, to really get it looking right. So I'll get back to you guys when we get the wrap and start wrapping. 